What's up, y'all? It's Disa, and I'm back at it again with the back at it again. Today, I am partnering up with the Stary Hair to show you all the start to finish on how I style this wig, ladies' wig, and ladies' edges. It comes with a nice pamphlet on how to wash and care for your wig, and they also include two wig caps. Now, when I first received this wig, they had a net over the wig, and it was in that little bag that you just saw, and then it all was in this bag, but I was impatient when I first got it, honey. I opened it up, and I was like, ooh, we know you looking my new wig. <laughs> Now I'm showing you all how the wig is constructed. It has three combs and two adjustable straps. Now, the combs are basically so your wig just won't be sliding all around on your head. And it also has two adjustable straps. So if you don't want to use an elastic band, you do not have to. Because as you all can see, you have three levels of tightness that you can use. Um, so yeah, if your head is a little small, you want to snook, you put it on the third level. Or if, you know, it's too tight for you, you just stay up on the first level. So yeah, let's get into this video. First things first, we're gonna bleach the knots on our frontal. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, when you receive a frontal and it isn't bleached when you like put a part in it, you will see these little black dots, right? That isn't natural looking at all. So, we bleach the knots on the frontal to basically make the color go from black to brown. Brown blend with your skin, better so boom. Now everybody get that, oh my god, is that a wig or is that your hair? So yeah, that's how you get that look. I started off with two scoops of bleach and then when I added the developer, I was like, oh my gosh, it's too liquidy. So I added another half and basically to make sure that your um, consistency is thick enough, when you stir it up, you want to turn your bowl upside down and if the brush stay in the bowl, then yeah, that's how you know it's thick enough. The way most YouTubers explain how to bleach your frontal, they say, oh, it's simple. It's just like gliding butter on bread. But I be thinking like, girl, every time I put butter on my bread, my bread breaks. So I already know I'm going to over bleach my frontal. <laughs> but basically, the only way I can explain is just really try to be gentle. And I noticed that like I used to use the tip of the brush. But really, when you use like the side of the brush and just like make sure you lay it over the frontal, then yeah, that's good enough. Just make sure you're not rough because I have over bleached the frontal before and it sucks because the wig is bomb but every time I go in and brush or comb the frontal of course all of the hairs are just shedding out. Like yeah I bleached the knots but I also bleached like all of the hair so yeah it's ruined basically so please be gentle regardless of whatever method you use. Just make sure you're gentle do not press it through the lace because you will over bleach. And now I'm just making sure I'm not over bleaching my frontal because I don't trust myself at all. So I'm lifting it up on it to make sure that no bleach went through. Ain't nothing spilling at all on the strands. And we good, honey. So I'm going to let that sit a little minute. Like what, 15, 10 minutes? Don't remember. Then I'm just going to wash it out. After washing the hair, I did allow it to dry for like 30 minutes. And y'all know I retired the middle part for a little bit, but I'm back because I love it. And I did part this all the way to the back of the frontal, and y'all, you cannot see the track. But if you can see the tracks upon your wig, all you have to do is just put a part going to the left and to the right, comb it down, and boom. That's the easiest way to cover up the tracks. And since the hair is wet, it's going to stay like that when it dry, and the part is going to lay flatter. All right, I'm really gonna breeze through this section because we all know how to flat iron hair. Now, you see the tracks right here? I'm basically gonna go up three rows up when I flat iron the hair to make sure it's not too much hair and it's just not too little of hair, you know, where I'll be taking all day. So I'm just gonna take a light oil and just rub it through the palm of my hand and then just add a little bit to the hair. We're not adding a lot because we don't wanna weigh it down, but I'm just adding a little bit so I don't have flyaways. And then I'm gonna flat iron it and I am using the chase method because Y'all know the chase method is bomb. Like, come on, it makes your hair super silky. Really, that's it. <laughs> it makes your hair super silky. Like, when you tell me something makes your hair silk, I'm like, okay, I don't question it no more after that. Like, use the chase method, okay? Look at that silk. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. And another tip to get your hair to lay flat, like the frontal, to get that whole slip down look. Basically, what you want to do is flat iron the frontal in sections. And if you're just doing a touch up on your hair where you can't start off with the frontal actually wet, just do it in sections and go along the part with the high comb and boom, there you go. Like, everything is flat. You don't have to always wet your frontal to make it lay down. I just like to, but if you can't wet it, this is another method you can do. And that's basically it. I hope this mug floats this don't make it. Okay, we got our wig. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put her down on my head. Yes, oh my God, I love how we fit already. <laughs> Ooh, I already right now I'm just tucking my braids up under here. 
Oh my god, it fits perfectly, bro. I can already tell. <laughs> I can already tell. So I'm gonna take my got to be glue and I'm gonna put just a little bit about my uh, finger. Then I'm gonna take my got to be glued, blasting free spray, shake it up, shake it up. And I'm actually gonna shoot this, okay? We're gonna whirl it with our fingers like this to mix it up, make us a nice little concoction, honey. All right, like that. Um, wipe the excess on your pants. <laughs> and then we're just gonna hold this here up and apply it, basically. I like to do mine in sections so I can make sure everything is just nice, you know? On to my hair like so. And I do like to make my head a little smaller when I apply my wigs. It's a preference. You all do not have to do this, but I love to do this. I like to do mine in sections because like I basically customize my hairline. I make my head small. I'm not going to lie. So I'm really trying to see, like, girl, do I really want a little head or do I just want, like, a smaller head, you know? And then I'm just going to blow dry it on the cool setting. And I'm just combing it through to really make sure it's not lifting up or anything. And then I'm going to move on to the next section, which is basically, like, the sideburn area. So, yeah, um, applying a wig is really simple. Like, once you get the hang of it, I know a lot of y'all are like, oh, my gosh, I can never do it. You make it look so easy. It's easy once you get the hang of it. All you have to do is just practice, practice, practice. And trust me, it'll be easy then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and for some reason y'all see how like my sideburns are i really couldn't get the frontal to like cover my sideburns how i really wanted it to but i don't know i think that happens to a lot of people and then i'm gonna use my gorilla gunk to lay my edges and let me tell y'all a little secret if you ever have like a part of your frontal that's sticking up or anything just lay your edges with eco gel gorilla snot or this gorilla gunk which is basically just a dupe for gorilla snot and basically I say basically a lot, but basically, <laughs> wherever you're laying your edges, if it's sticking up right there, just apply whatever you use on top of it. And then go ahead and swoop your edges. And once you tie it down, trust me, that lace is going to be laying down. Edge is going to be fleek, okay? You're going to be looking good, just like me. <laughs> After tying down my edges, as y'all see, that part right there basically laid itself down. So I was like, look, I ain't got a problem with you, boo. Do your thing. So I just left it like that. Then I'm just going to finish laying my edges and guess what? I did not have to tie down this side because the lace wasn't sticking up. So yeah, that's basically it with the edges. Oh, and when I finished, I took just a little bit of oil and applied it to the part and brushed it down so I wouldn't have any flyaways or anything because I love like this sleek polished look. Well, this is not like something you have to do, but it's something that you want to do, okay? I ain't actually all right y'all that brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope it was easy for you to follow and if it was not please leave a comment down below and i promise i will come back with another tutorial because i don't know i'm probably not that good with doing tutorials talk about this hair stare your hair first off y'all getting 10 of these okay 10 of these because the hair doesn't shed right now what i'm doing is i'm running my fingers through my hair you know what i don't feel i don't feel dryness okay i don't have any snacks i don't feel any dead ends split ends none of that stay right here shut up y'all look what i could do normally i would have to get a comb and comb the hair when i go from the back to the front but hysteria not with y'all you want to know why because you have quality okay and why do you have quality because you care about your customers that's what you do you love your customers so you took the time to get nice hair instead of just saying okay we're gonna send out anything just to keep up no you have nice quality hair why because you're kind you just, just you're kind, you is sly, you is important. But yes, this hair makes me feel like a bad chick, okay? I feel like a bad chick. I'm ready for Sunday morning because I'm ready to go stunt on the first lady with this hair. I'm going to purposely come in to church late so I go walk in looking for a see and swinging my hair like, can I see that one? Can I, let, let me get through that. You know what I'm saying? That's what this giving me. A stare right here. Oh, and this frontal lace, super flat. If y'all see a little bump right here, this is my fault because I literally have a twist going like this, like across my head because, I don't know, I just like the braid like that. So, yeah, the frontal is like 
sucked down to my head because of stereo. Baby girl, this from to isbone.com. Um, yeah, I did not apply any makeup on this because I just wanted y'all to see like how it look without oh and I don't have a cap either. So if the part isn't as like brightly brown, how y'all be seeing it on Instagram, that's because I did not put a cap under here. I didn't do too much with the edges because this is the middle part. Hold on. And I didn't even do this right here when I glued it down and I actually tied it down afterwards. I'm not sure if I said it in the video, but I came back and I tied it down. So, yeah. And the hairs did this on their own. So, I was like, okay. And it's a middle part. So, if the wind blow ever so gently, you still, you're just going to see like these little bitty edges. Like, it's a middle part. I don't want all the big droop, 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 droop. I don't have time for that. And this side, I couldn't, uh, I mean, I tried to get the lay down, but when I was pulling this side, it was like pulling over here too. So, I was like, okay. I'm going to just leave that alone. Like, I don't want to mess up. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it's the middle part. It's cool. Don't nobody know what go on in this middle part. You got to watch these chicks with the middle part. And I'm only calming this hair because I'm obsessed with it. Like, it doesn't even need to be calmed. Oh, let me turn around for you. Uh, I probably should come away from the camera. This is where it stops on me. I just like long hair. Like, it's weave, you know? All of the hair to the front, half and half. And in the front, it comes down to right here. <laughs> it comes down to here. I love this hair. I feel like a bad chicken. Oh, this hair is bomb. Look at me. Oh, and this hair is for all occasions. You can wear it to the park, on a dinner date, to church, to the club, to a wedding. You can wear this hair anywhere, honey, okay? You can just wear this hair just going up over your friend's house. And they be like, I always just, you know how a friend should tell you, I always just chilling, baby. You just chilling. I'm stepping in with these. I'm stepping in like, you chilling. We ain't chilling with this on our head. Chilling why? No, we're not. This hair is great. I'm having I got this hair. First off, the packaging. Y'all saw me right there. I said, look at this box. Look Mom. at this bag. Mom. Hey, Lincoln. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. I said, look at this bag. First of all, your bag says Asteria hair. Okay, here I come. Everyone loves stereo hair. They are incredible yeah. company. All right, y'all. If y'all like this video, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And don't matter. Just engage with me. Everything you want to know about stereo hair will be in the description box. Link can stop I'm recording. <laughs> Everything you need to know about stereo hair will be in the description box down below. And I thank y'all so much for watching. And stereo hair, I thank you all so, so much for collaborating with you, girl. This is my first collaboration for 2019. I love you. Thank you. Peace.